This is Wanda Studio. We're joined by Mr. Harvard Ansari, who's going to talk to us a little bit, a little bit about all of his businesses. Uh, Mr. Harvard, thank you for being with us. Hi. Um, so tell us a little bit about what you're involved in these days and what exactly are you up to? Okay, so from an entrepreneurial point of view, I'm involved in uh, two businesses in, in Pakistan, actually in Islamabad. One is an old, older business, which is um, a film and communication company. We do film animation and communication for businesses and, and, develop, and the development sector organization. Okay. Because uh, we found that uh, people don't read anymore. So what we, whatever they've achieved, we translate it into living, creative communication. So that's one business and I do that with, it's called White Rice Communications. Okay. And it's based in Islamabad. And I'm a silent partner. A silent partner? Yeah, but I'm like an uncle to the organization. Okay. And uh, the chief executive is Rahil Bakar, who's, who's over here with me today. So uh, th that's one business that's going very well. Um, and, uh, People don't read anymore. Is that the driving force behind this organization in particular? Yeah, I mean, we live in the subcontinent. And you know, Bollywood, Lollywood, um, even Hollywood is what people watch. They're not in, they don't read magazines, they don't read newspapers. So the bulk of the population are not reading. Even so-called managers and decision makers in organizations, they don't read reports. So you have to communicate, you have to cut to the chase. So that's why White Rice is a really important business. And how important is an idea behind a business to the success of that business? Well, um, I think ideas are to a penny. So it's very easy to get ideas, especially with the internet these days. So the idea itself is, also, is very important, but you don't have to come up with it yourself. However, what you do with, with the idea is very important. So you know, you have to have the right vision, you have to have the right focus, you have to have the right management, you have to, write, have, to have the right strategy. So my other businesses um, in Islamabad, I wouldn't call this my business, except I've sponsored it, which is a girls' school. Wow. It's the first girls' school in Islamabad, girls only. And it's based uh, on Main Marukhala, 70 Marukhala Road. It's called Liberal Arts High School for Girls. And my wife runs it. She owns it and runs it. She doesn't want me to be involved in it at all. Okay. Um, and I, I'm not involved in it at all. And she's been in uh, schooling for, you know, two and a half decades. Wow. So she knows her, uh, you know, how to run a school. Her ABC. And she, yeah. And she's very has already already been very successful in Islamabad with other schools. And I won't mention them. So you've been a guiding force or a guiding light for a number of businesses. What sort of advice do you give managers and um, CEOs and how do you give advice? I mean, is it very pointed advice or is it just general, you know, like have passion, have a, you should have, you should be driven to do something. Is it more pointed than that or? Yeah. Well, first of all, I only give advice if I'm asked. I don't give unsolicited advice. Okay. Because, you know, um, if a person doesn't want to ask, isn't, isn't bothered to ask, they don't really want to know. So first of all, uh, that's, a, that's a really important point. Don't give advice unless somebody asks for it. And then how I give advice, well, uh, I look at the key things that the person has to be concerned about, not everything. Most of the things I see in, in Pakistan is that people are not clear. People are not focused. They're not clear about what they want. If you ask anybody what do they want, they won't be able to quantify it. They won't be able to give you a timeline by when they want it. Uh, they, they won't be able to give you a pl game plan as to how they're going to achieve it. And they often don't know enough about their business or their business environment. They're just married to their business idea or their technology. So that's, that's one of the issues. Another thing is also I believe that, you know, anyone creative can have an idea. But putting it into a business plan and something that is logistically feasible and have setting a timeline for oneself is a difficult thing, especially for a young entrepreneur, somebody who's very passionate about something, somebody who's very creative. What advice would you give them? Yeah, I would say get an uncle. You know, I, I said to you, I'm an uncle. Yeah, so get an uncle. I, I had a business in the UK. I started a business, biotech business. I'm actually a microbiologist by education. And I started a biotech business and took it to the FTSE after five years in 1993 and came back to Pakistan after that. And, but I had an uncle there because I felt we, we just didn't have enough skill on the board to run that business. We needed, so we needed an uncle. So I, got, I bought an uncle. <laughs> you know, I put somebody on the board who was a, you know, more experienced than I was, 
who had worked for Mars and big, big international organizations, and he was an international consultant, so he became, a, became an advisor to our board. So get an uncle, I think that's a really important advice. So all these companies of yours, do you have an umbrella, sort of a vision for the next couple of years? Well, um, the company in England, I sold my interest when, before I came to Pakistan, so that's something I've left behind. But I do have an umbrella vision, but not necessarily for the companies. I have an umbrella vision for myself, which is I'm, I came back in 93 to give back to Pakistan whatever I can. So I try to give, the, give back and that's why I'm involved with Thai. So I'm trying to give as much as I can. And I've also been involved in mentoring microfinance organizations in okay. Pakistan and um, you know, working, uh, working with other emerging organizations. So it's, this is not just this, uh, the, you know, these businesses we're talking about. I've been a, a, a management consultant for about 12, 13 years and helping other businesses to grow and develop. So you're a microbiologist with a management streak. I'm a manage, I've got a degree in microbiology, but my streak is really, I'm, I'm really an entrepreneur and a, and a management freak, you know, because I love management and I love strategizing about business. So, I, you know, it's my passion. That's great to hear. Thank you so much for talking to us. You're most welcome. Thank you. Thank you.